Zcash is the best tool for making private, secure financial transactions. Just using Zcash can make your finances extremely private. However, you can take steps to make your payments even more private by leaking as little data as possible. Here's a list of progressive steps you can take to use Zcash with maximum privacy. Start at the top and do as many of these as you're able. 1. Use shielded, especially orchard, transactions. Zcash has two main transaction types, transparent and shielded. Just using transparent addresses doesn't confer any additional privacy as all your transactions are public for anyone to see. So if you have funds in an address that starts with a T, shield them by moving them to an address that starts with a Z, or better yet, you. By shielding your transactions, all your data is hidden from the public, including amounts and who you're paying. Shielded to shielded doesn't even show that it's you who's paying. 2. Avoid KYC. When possible, avoid using services that make you give your real name and government ID, also known as KYC. Even if your transactions can't be traced, if someone knows you bought a certain amount of Zcash and a particular good or service gets bought with Zcash for an amount that makes sense, they can figure out it was you. This can be really challenging, especially because you need KYC when buying from exchanges, but try to limit wherever you can. 3. Don't share identifying info. Don't share transaction details with any association to you, your name, your known pseudonyms, your phone number or email address, or other identifying factors. If you tweet about how much money you have or what you're doing with it, that isn't going to help your privacy. 4. Use a secure device. Common devices and operating systems leak a lot of private data, which can harm your privacy when using Zcash. Ideally, run an operating system like Linux on your computer and Graphene for your mobile device. Use an encrypted messenger like Signal and avoid Google, Microsoft, and other products and apps which can collect and share your private data, including surrounding your transactions. Check out Naomi Brockwell's channel for more tips on how to improve your device privacy. 5. Run your own node and use Tor or at least a VPN. To be extra safe, instead of using a wallet that connects to another node, run your own node and run it over Tor to ensure your IP address is hidden. This is important because if your IP address is associated with specific transactions, even if amounts and recipients aren't visible, someone can still see you're using Zcash and when you're doing and when you're doing it. This can be harmful when combined with other information someone may or may not know about you. Where you can't use Tor, use a reliable and private VPN. 6. Be smart about timing and amounts to avoid off-chain data linkage. Finally, to be extra safe, don't transact in predictable ways. Don't receive and then immediately send whole balances somewhere else. Wait some time and send regularly with amounts that can't easily be correlated between send and receive. The longer you leave your coins in a shielded address before moving them, the better. Shielded coins at rest are your best friend. Amounts and destinations are already hidden with shielded transactions, but you can even be more careful in case you're leaking some data outside of Zcash. Remember, you don't need to be perfect in order to achieve better privacy. Even just a couple of these steps can keep your finances confidential from almost everyone. Do your best, and remember, privacy is a fundamental human right.